In the first game, the amount of pitchers you had to use for Cole to come out like that and, and perform just what impressed you the most? Yeah, I thought his stuff was really good. Um, you know, what I think what impressed me, though, is, you know, he got into the 60s there after, in the third inning. They really made him work in that third inning. And to be able to almost complete seven for us, obviously, in, in a game that we're thin back there, um, you know, it was just what we needed. It looked like at one point in time he came off the field and said to you, I'll do whatever you want. Were you considering not putting him back out there? Yeah, he was at 105 after six, so I was considering. I felt like we could, you know, uh, I felt like we could piece it together, but also felt like he was sound and uh, thought about it and, and sent him out there. And, you know, I thought he I, I thought he was on fumes at the end there, even with Celestino where, where he got the punch out there, but um, just a just a big-time effort for us. IKF had a big hit in the first game to tie things up in extras, clearly yeah. a grand slam in, in game two. What looked different about his at-bats or his approach at the plate today? Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it comes down to getting pitches to hit, and I think that's that's one thing that embodied this game. I mean, you saw up and down the lineup a lot of really, really tough at-bats um, and then two big swings with, with guys on base, uh, with, with Isaiah and with Hicks. But but I think the amount of uh, quality at-bats from everyone in the lineup put us in that position. You know, they, they really made um, Ryan work hard, you know, got his pitched almost 100 in, in four innings. Um, so I, I think that that grinded out as a as a whole. I think eventually netted us some mistakes, and and Isaiah and and Hicks were really able to take advantage. Randy, that couldn't have been easy for you, uh, for Isaiah, hearing that he was going to lose playing time, and then going to third base, and for him to. Responded that the way he did and go out there today and, and and kind of help an offense when you have very few regulars in there Does that kind of show you about the kind of guy he is? Yeah um, You know when I talked about him this about it this morning and and even when I had a conversation with him a week ago You know, he's just I want to win. I'll do whatever whatever we need and uh, you know um Today was whatever we need. I, I thought he made a great play down there and the, might have been what was it in the first game on a backhand at third base handled everything well down there though and and obviously came up with some huge hits and and that's what he's done all year he's been really good with runners in scoring positions and in big situations um you know he's got great bat to ball skills and and tonight he was able to really elevate one justin you're right aaron was there anything in particular that garrett did to fall into that better group after the third inning um I don't know. I thought he did a good job of dictating counts all night. Um, and I thought he made some quality pitches when he needed needed to on 3-2. I, I, I kind of felt like he had his stuff from the get-go, actually. So, you know, it was just a tough inning in that third where they made him work a lot, you know. And, and you know, I think I think it all came. The, the two-out home, was it the two-out homer there? Um to Correa and then they just kept making him work and they kept extending the inning on him but I thought I thought he kind of had his stuff from Jump Street tonight back to the middle Aaron what does it say about your team and organization you were able to sweep a double header from a contender with so many regulars out you know that's we talk about that from you know day one in spring training you know when we're sitting in that room that it's going to take a lot of people and maybe even some people you don't necessarily expect that are going to play an important role at some point during the season. And, uh, you know, obviously we've we've hit a stretch where we've we've had some attrition and we've lost some guys and we're down some guys. And, and you know, that creates opportunities. And I think we're seeing a number of guys that, you know, look like, you know, they, they want to take advantage of it. And they're talented players in their own right. And uh, today was a really good day for them. Ron. What do the Cabreras and Peraza's and Florials and Weisserts bring to the room in terms of demeanor and acceptance by the older guys when they arrive after not having been around them since months? Well, I mean, they're all different. Everyone's different. Um, you know, you know, I think I think our veteran guys do a really good job of of making whether it's somebody from out from another organization that comes in via trade or whatever or somebody coming up from the minor leagues for the first time um i think you know our leaders do a really good job of making them feel 
at home, like they can be themselves right away. Um, I think that's always been something I've noticed since I've been here and something that's important to me. Um, so all those guys you mentioned are all a little bit different. Um, you know, all young, talented players. Um, but I think they're able to be themselves. Even though it always looks like energy is lacking during the losing periods when mm -hmm. it's not, is there anything to be said for the youthful enthusiasm when they arrive and just energy? I, sure. I mean, I think any time you get, um, you know, but I think performance helps that a lot. You know, when you, you know, when we've seen what Oswaldo Cabrera's done on the defensive side of the ball or, or with big hits, um, you know, that's provided some energy because a young player's come up and had an impact and, and looked like a good player. You know, Peraza kind of coming up and, um, you know, having a really good day today for us and, um, you know, playing with some confidence out in the field. Um, you know, Flo getting some traction today. Great bunt. Smoked the ball the other way. You know, got, you know, we know how talented he is. Um you know, those are things that I think create energy when young, talented players come up and play like they belong.